Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie Henry Cavill and the Warhammer people have been talking about the upcoming movies and series that they're working on, so we'll break it all down. Henry Cavill has been pretty quiet about his new Warhammer series until recently, and it was actually Games Workshop, the people who make the Warhammer games, who actually hold the rights to it, who he's been waiting on, it turns out, and they just made a bunch of big announcements about everything, what's going on, basically. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Of course, I'll do episodes for this new Warhammer series when it starts and whatever Warhammer movies Henry Cavill winds up making because he does talk about making a Warhammer cinematic universe. That just means there'll be both TV series and movies. It just sounds like he's starting with the TV series. It's been about a year to the day almost since Henry Cavill's last big Warhammer post that he made publicly announcing that he was making the new series and the new movies. This is what he actually said about that. For 30 years, I've dreamt of seeing a Warhammer universe in live action. Like I said, he's been a fanboy of Warhammer playing the game for the past 30 years. Now, after 22 years of experience as an actor inside Hollywood, I finally feel I have the skill set and experience to guide a Warhammer cinematic universe into life. Like I said, cinematic universe meaning movies and TV shows. Partnering with Natalie Viscuso at Vertigo has been a blessing beyond words, probably because Vertigo holds the rights to the TV shows in the movies. Without her, we might not have found the perfect home at Amazon, meaning that the TV show will drop on Amazon, and it will give us the freedom to be true to the massive scope of Warhammer, just meaning that Amazon's gonna let them do whatever they want to do with the Warhammer series, the Warhammer movies. To all you Warhammer fans out there, I promise to respect this IP we love, I promise to bring you something familiar, and I endeavor to bring you something fantastic that is, as of yet, unseen, meaning that they haven't actually made it yet, like they're still trying to get it going. Our first steps are to find our filmmaker, creator, writer, watch this space, my friends, for the Emperor. Games Workshop and Amazon separately made some announcements that also explained why things have been so quiet during 2023. When are we actually going to get episodes? When is he going to start filming? What's the timeline on these Warhammer episodes? When are we actually going to see the movies? When are they going to come out? What characters are they going to focus on? Like which part of the Warhammer universe? Which character is Henry Cavill going to play in all this? Apparently, when Henry Cavill made his initial announcement, Games Workshop, the people who hold the rights to Warhammer, they make all the physical games, they get to sign off on all the video games, the other Warhammer stuff produced by other people. They announced that they'd finalize their deal with Amazon to get basically all the rights to do any movie story, any TV series story set anywhere in the Warhammer universe during any time period with any of the characters. Whereas before, when Henry Cavill was making his initial announcement, the rights were apparently still kind of a mess all over the place with a bunch of different people. Previously, there had been other people who had tried to make a Warhammer TV show. There was one in 2019 the Games Workshop announced, but it wasn't part of Henry Cavill's deal. Like, Henry Cavill didn't have anything to do with it, Amazon didn't have anything to do with it, and they haven't said anything about it since then. Now Amazon apparently has all the proper rights for everything Warhammer related and Henry Cavill's Warhammer series and movies can move forward finally in any other Warhammer stuff that Amazon might want to do. Even though it does sound like Henry Cavill's projects are the first Warhammer things that they'll be focusing on. If you have no idea what's going on, Henry Cavill is a lifelong Warhammer fanboy. That's why in his initial post he talks about it so specifically like it's so personal to him. If you've never seen him talk about it in real life or listen to any of his interviews, even when he was still playing Superman in the DC Justice League movies, when he was doing The Witcher, he would talk nonstop about his love of Warhammer. He literally interrupted a Warhammer Netflix promo interview to geek out on Warhammer with Joey Beatty, who is also a huge Warhammer fan in real life. Henry, let's start with you. Uh, specifically, which universe or just? I mean, just anything. Oh my goodness, here we go. Is, well, how long have you got? You've got so many and I've got none. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ruling out The Witcher. Yeah, no, The okay. Witcher. Okay. Um, I mean, the easy answer is um, Warhammer 40,000. That is my, my jam. Um, <laughs> I have been into it since I was 10. What's and, your army um, at the moment? Uh, custodies. Ah, uh, yeah. I've, I'm, going, I'm going Necrons next time. Necrons? Oh. Okay, all right. Cool. Were you, we? into, yes. were you into this before? Or is oh, this yeah. a new thing? Just, oh. Let's just assume that anything nerdy I've been doing for a good thing. Oh, wow. Years. We could talk for hours. <laughs> yeah. No, so, yeah, this is that, that's, that's my jam, and that's the stuff um, I, I do in my free time. That's amazing. Amazing. Um, I'd love to see your, your armies, your collect. Do you paint them yourself? I do, yes. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Is it? 
That is really... <laughs> it's is cool it? when... Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> cool in I a like certain painting. world. I like yeah. painting, there you go. So it I, is, I think I'd really so enjoy that. It is so I think you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah it's I think I really, really would. This is what you need to do in your trailers on the off time during season three. You paint minis. Yeah. Right on the call sheet. <laughs> then it's <laughs> painting time. Yeah. <laughs> If you didn't realize, Warhammer is mostly viewed as being a hardcore UK thing. Now, obviously, it's international all over the place, but it has a much richer history inside the UK. Recently, Games Workshop just confirmed all the stuff that Henry Cavill had been talking about, and he's continuing to work on those projects. It sounds like legally he wasn't allowed to actually start working on them, like pen to paper, until all these deals were finalized. No surprise that lawyers always ruin all the fun. They released a video of Henry Cavill visiting their studio a while ago, like a couple years ago. That was probably when Henry Cavill had started to work with them on their side of things. Like, yes, I would love to make a Warhammer series and Warhammer movies. Let's make that happen. Like, how do we make that happen? The funny thing about this, you see him geeking out about all these figures, all these setups here. He does this in real life. Like, when you just catch him in his free time, he's just sitting there painting his little Warhammer figures. One of the biggest traditions of the Warhammer fandom is actually model creation. So when he talks about creating his models, that's what he means. The initial announcement about all this last year was timed right as he was leaving The Witcher Netflix after season three. Like it was right as season three was getting ramped up and after he left the Superman role at DC. Although there's more of a chance that he'd return as an older Superman in the future. Pretty sure though we will not see him back on The Witcher since that's supposed to end after season five now with Liam Hemsworth having taken over with the recasting. There have been a lot of stories about why he left The Witcher Netflix, why he's not the main Superman anymore, but there's more details on all the Superman DC stuff just because all that was way more public and way more reported on. Part of the reason why he left The Witcher was because he didn't really have any creative input on the show, like he was just an actor for hire. He was a huge Witcher geek for the original books and the games, and it sounds like just because the Netflix Witcher series wound up making so many big changes to the original story, he didn't really agree with everything and wanted to work on his own projects that he originated that he would have creative control over, and it was just taking them forever to make all these Witcher seasons, so it was just dragging on and on and on, burning daylight when he could be working on other projects that he did have control over. Then along comes the opportunity to do a Warhammer series and movies and he's been a Warhammer geek way longer than he's been into The Witcher or even into the DC Superman lore. So it just seems like a no-brainer for him to leave The Witcher. The reason why he left Superman is a little more complicated, less by choice because he would have totally continued. They were originally planning on making Man of Steel 2. They had much bigger plans for him in other future DC movies. That's why he released this video after his post credit scene in the Black Adam movie came out. I wanted to wait until the weekend was over before posting this uh, because I wanted to give you all a chance to watch Black Adam. But now that plenty of you have, I wanted to make it official that I am back as Superman. And the image you see on this post and what you saw in Black Adam are just a very small taste of things to come. So uh, there's a lot to be thankful for. and. I'll get to that in time, but I want to thank you guys most of all. Thank you for your support and thank you for your patience. I promise it will be rewarded. Literally just like a couple weeks after that, maybe even less than that, they announced that James Gunn had been hired to be the new Kevin Feige at DC, essentially with his producing partner, and they were going to reboot the DC universe, and their plan was completely different, recasting all the Justice League actors. So it really does feel like Warner Brothers was jerking around Henry Cavill for a long time, trying to keep him on the hook for playing Superman, like teasing him with the idea that he could come back as Superman, then bringing him back, then immediately taking that all back. The way he talks about it publicly, though, he took it all in stride. Like, he took it like a gentleman. Like, okay, like, obviously, you have very different plans. He could always come back as Superman. I think he's just trying to leave the door open. Like, he doesn't want to burn too many bridges. Like, he could have it out with them in public. But I do think that, personally, he is a true gentleman. That is just the way that he acts, personally and privately. So it's not like he hates James Gunn or he hates Warner Brothers or anything like that. There's no bad blood between them, and James Gunn does like Henry Cavill and did enjoy his role as Superman. I've done a couple other videos about all the craziness that happened at Warner Brothers the last couple of years. Like, there were a couple buyouts that did not work out for them. They wound up hiring David Zaslav, the guy that's been canceling everything. Like, you've probably been seeing memes about him all over social media for the past couple of years. There's like a whole saga behind the scenes before they hired James Gunn to reboot the DC movies into Superman Legacy and all the new stuff that they're announcing. 
But essentially, the effect is to leave Henry Cavill free to pursue any movies and any TV shows that he wants. Like, he doesn't have to worry about being on the hook for a bunch of other big franchise movies at the moment. Amazon is basically going to let him do whatever he wants. That's kind of their deal. And because he's such a stickler and such a fanboy for accuracy to the Warhammer lore, the Games Workshop people on their side of things love him and will probably let him do whatever he wants to, pretty much. A lot of people now wondering, who is he going to play? Like, is he going to do an origin story for the Emperor of Mankind? Like, before he just winds up sitting in the chair, absorbing all that psychic energy from everywhere. There are a lot of characters from the Warhammerverse, the universe that I want to be, but I can only really be one. Because once I'm one, then I can't be others. Five years, you'd make a very good Greg Horizon, one, I think. That, I mean, that would be exciting, yes. But then I'd burn Primarchs and, and the Captain Generals. So. It is obviously character rich, especially the 40k universe. I suppose I could play a different character from the Warhammer fantasy universe versus the 40k universe. He's got a bunch of options, so let me know who you want Henry Cavill to play, what you want the story to actually focus on. I'll do more Warhammer videos when he reveals more details. It'll probably be a little while. I'll try to do videos this week for Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon Netflix movie too, and for Aquaman too. My What If Season 2 episodes will also be starting in a couple days. Make sure you enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss any of that. Click here to learn why Marvel just fired Jonathan Majors as their Kang the Conqueror. And click here for that Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.